so I killed the video. I'm really sorry. This just came in, guys. This is uh, Jason Goes to Hell uh, from Brandon Scott Murphy. I pressed the button on my phone and fucked it all up. Um, I was running my mouth, too. Fuck. Uh, this was the la last one he did, guys, right here. This is the, uh, this is number six of, you know, six that he did. So, it's retired. It's, it's no more. There's no more that are being made. It is, uh, I had my, video, my, my, my phone sideways, too. For, for those of you who follow me on YouTube and told me to turn my phone sideways, I originally had my phone sideways. Now I don't. I apologize about that. I need to get my shit together, I know. But anyway, back to this amazing sculpt. So he sculpted this, Brandon Scott Murphy sculpted this from the ground up to all him. Uh, this was from the deleted scene in Jason Goes to Hell with the demon. And I think it's just fucking amazing. And then I ordered the Jason Goes to Hell bust from Devil's Latex. Those guys are awesome. They are overseas. They must have put like 300 pounds or $300 worth of uh, foam filling in that thing. It, it's big. It's badass. I'm going to display this right over top of it. Hopefully it'll fit in the shelf area. It looks like it will. Looks like it'll just make it. But this is pretty much a spot on sculpt of that, of that actual uh, part of the movie. Um, I mean, it's still freshy fresh. He got this thing out for me. He painted it, cleared it, and got it out for me really fast. I mean, you can see the detail in this thing. It's fucking amazing. Like, this dude is super badass. Super talented, dude. Look at the back of that fucking thing, man. That thing is fucking wicked cool. Oh, and that's my uh, the visitor. I had, I had to go through tots to get, and it has a deformed little mouth area at the bottom, which it'll, I guess it'll uh, uh, fix itself because they don't really use thick latex anymore like they did in the old days. It's real paper thin bullshit. So they just don't take pride in shit like they used to. It's all, it's all about the money now, fortunately. But it's all good. I really wanted this piece. Uh, it was growing on me when I saw it in other people's collections, so, but unfortunately I had to go through their page to get this. I paid almost $100 for that thing. I think Zagoni finishes them, though, and they come straight from their shop, um, and Tox slaps a tag on it and ships it out, or maybe, or maybe Trick or Treat Studios has the mold, I'm not sure. One way or the other, it's out of the original mold. Um, it's a very cool piece. I can show it to you real quick and then we'll get back to the... The real, th real deal here, but here it is. Here's the uh, visitor. See how the mouth kind of caved in right there because they can't throw anything in the box. They have to, uh, you know, super, super. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? A very, a very. And then look at the hair right there. See how they didn't even couldn't even pull it up to the top for me. Um, and then there's some glue there. I worked at quality control and PRS for like two years so I, I, I notice these things guys I notice these things the lips got a little paint smudge rubbed off but it's cool it is for what it is it's cool I mean I did pay some money for this thing could it be a little bit better I don't know why they're going so paper thin with their latex pulls though man like look at this shit like if you get any old school OG whether it be Don you know let's just talk about what the company at hand any B something studios from what I've noticed the latex is almost two to three times that size. Uh, I've noticed almost every piece that's come out of, the, out of there, even the fang faces, have been paper thin like this, man. It's like, I just don't get it. I mean, the OGs that are in good condition now, I bet you will outlast these brand new ones that are being like made now. It's just fucking crazy. And the hair work just doesn't seem like it. it, it is, it's just a... Uh, nice as the old school plush hoods. I can tell you for a fact on the fang faces that I got from uh, Tots that, um, Tots, people probably hate when I say that. Trick or Treat Studios, I'll say it. Um, those plush hoods are nowhere near as thick as the old school OGs. And I'm not even sure that the actual mask itself is as big as an original, because I have a 77 and it, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big mask. The ones that I picked up from Tots they're pretty tight, man. I mean, they're pretty tight. I mean, they fit your face, but they're, 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 they're like pretty tight. 
I, I just don't get it. I don't have a big beard anymore or long hair, so there's really no reason it, it should be fitting that that tight on your face. So I'm just letting you guys know. I'm not trying to talk shit. I'm just speaking the truth. So that's what that is. But anyway, let's get back to the matter of hand here. Look at this badass fucking piece. So he sealed it. He painted it, sealed it, um, and then added like you know the epoxy drool inside the mouth. It's fucking awesome. I cannot get enough of this thing. It's gonna display so badass over top of my Jason Goes to Hell bust from Devil's Latex. Um, and any of you guys that haven't seen those, uh, I suggest you, you uh, if you're into the movie or you like that look of Jason, um, I suggest hitting them up. It's not cheap, but you get your money's worth. Believe me, guys, you get your money's worth. Uh, this thing is just, this sculpt is just, I can't even imagine how long it took him to make this, to like, to, to actually sculpt this thing. I mean, if you see all the little ridges, all this stuff was all sculpted. I mean, just all these little strokes and, you know, with the tools and all that. I mean, he put a lot of time into this thing. And it definitely shows, and that's why I wanted one. And I'm super fortunate to own this. Uh, um, it's something I'm gonna hold on to, hopefully. I mean, look guys, <clears throat> if I buy something and I keep it for a while, and then something else, like say something else comes along, and you just don't have the money, but you know you can get some money from selling something that you know you could probably live without or get again. Typically, that's what I do, and you know what I mean. It's is what it is. Uh, I don't have a ton of you know space to display stuff, stuff like that. Um, these big busts like this take up a lot of room. I don't have a huge display room. I wish I did, but unfortunately, I don't. So there's always something that's coming up, and sometimes you know in this hobby, it's kind of like like baseball cards, you know, you get them, trade them, get something else, whatever, 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 whatever. So, you know, um, that's, just how, that's just how it is. Let somebody else get it um, and have some fun with it or whatever and skip some wait time. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, my collection, you know. I'm still into the busts, trying to get into some old school masks, uh, some vintage stuff, things that I like um, from different companies. You know, the, there's a few pieces from each company that, you know, I got my mind on, or my, my eye on, but, uh, you know, you just kind of got to get lucky. What drives me crazy is the eBay auctions, man. People put them up for like six days, and, you know, everybody and their mom sees that shit, and then everything goes through the roof. You know, I fucking miss the old shit where people just had buy it now or make an offer. That was the shit. But anyway, sorry I didn't crack this up and out of the box like I typically do. Um, my phone clicked off. Uh, sorry about that. But yeah, you can see all the detail on this. There's the purplish veins, uh, excuse me, going through the head. The teeth. There's a really nasty shot of all the epoxy. I'm glad that didn't get damaged in shipping. This is probably my favorite shot of this thing. I mean, the back of this thing is just as amazing as the front, which is fucking cool. But this sculpt is fucking gnarly, man. Those of you that didn't jump on this when you had the opportunity, I feel bad for you. I really do. This is such a fucking cool piece. There it is, another another vein in the head, purplish vein in the head. But um, I have no complaints. I have not one complaint. Uh, from the, I mean, from the start to finish, he hit, Brandon has been super cool. Um, I highly suggest him, if you guys see anything from him that you want. He's doing like the Zaxxon. I'm not sure if he's still doing it. I believe he is. He's retired a few things. And I think he's trying to bring like a new uh, series out of stuff to keep it fresh, which is very respectable. But there you go. You got all these little fucking like weird, almost looks like spider eyes and shit there. That's what it reminds me of when I see it every time. There's the ribs. Kind of kept the um, paint off of those. Got the demon horn coming right out of the chin. It's all these little fucking details, man. I'm so happy. So happy. I have, I have some stuff coming in next week as well. So we'll be doing some more videos. But this thing is fucking cool as fuck. Brandon, I can't thank you enough, dude. I really thank you for coming through and uh, being a man of your word. You didn't have to do that. You could have retired and been like, man, I really just can't do these anymore after mass. That's what you came through for me. 
Uh, he told me that the fucking mold of this thing is like 150 pounds, so don't fuck with that dude, he'll fuck you up. But this thing is, is rad as fuck, I cannot thank you enough bud, and uh, we will be in touch. Have a nice weekend guys.